Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Same and peace out to the rest of you. I, you know the intro. I'm going to skip this time because I want this to be quick. This one is for sisters. And this is for sisters who mean well, but who think that they can ride. These are the ones who mean well, but they think they're going to be able to fuck around in uh, honest terms. And still find somebody later on. A lot of you were misled when you're young. And this is mostly for those of you that are. Um, I'll put it like this. Uh, this is for those of you who are 18. You go back and tell the ones under 18 this message. Because you know how to frame it personally for the specific individual. But for those of you that are 18 or 19. Uh, and you ever thought in your life. That you could F around and you were still going to find somebody good later and somehow wind up with what you want. I.e. the career and the husband you wanted. I'm telling you now that you cannot. Things are changing and people are not telling you this. So since they're not telling you, I'll tell you. I normally do not address uh, the women in my clips and my videos. But this time I'm doing it for your benefit. Because a lot of you were misled. You probably got these ideas in middle school. And now I'm, that you're 18, I'm telling you that this uh, is not true. And nobody told you this beforehand. So I'm telling you. You cannot F around. Things are changing. What you thought you were going to be able to do and get away with. Especially if you think that it's because you see men doing it and getting away with, with it. You won't be able to do and get away with. The guys that you want... Every other woman wants. So you see them screwing around and getting away with it. And you think they're going to grow older and they're going to, uh, you think that they're going to grow older and find who they really want and settle down with her after they've ran through a bunch of vaginas. Well, many of them aren't going to settle down anyway. And the other thing, too, is that most men, so like most men, were not running through a bunch of vaginas, as you know. Think about the men who you see every day, but you don't really see them. How many of them are there? When you walk around tomorrow, be it at school or at your job, you'll notice them then. If even an older woman has told you that you can do this while you're young, just, you know, take the pills and don't wind up pregnant, and you're going to find somebody. Even if, even if you hear this from a woman that found someone, understand that that's not true because it's very rare. It's so rare that you can't count on this happening yourself. Men are going to know, and now there are going to be men who... Um, they're now going to be men who know this game and they know exactly what you're thinking and they're going to make sure that you don't get to carry this out and they're doing this not even because they hate you they're simply going to be uh, frustrating your efforts because it's just wrong what they're going to do is they're going to say well look we understand that you don't see all men the same that's fine but what this also means is that you can't come to us later on the guy that you didn't want when you were young and then decide that because of the uh, negative consequences you will have sustained the inability to pair bond the children any of these things the poverty the debt uh, the stress of having to raise some kids by yourself or the stress you will incur because you choose to raise some by yourself they're going to look and they're going to say, this is not a situation I want. I damn sure will not commit. As a matter of fact, nowadays, men are being trained and they're teaching each other to determine how to determine if you really want him or not to determine your level of attraction for him. And this is something that men are learning, not only from men who have been rejected, but also from men who have never been rejected. Both of them are teaching men how to determine this. Because see, the men who all of you want... Um, they know how they were treated and they bragged about it. And now with social media, we get to compare notes. So the guy you can't stand and the guy that you have wet dreams about are comparing notes with each other. They're talking to each other, usually not even in person, but in social media, they're talking to each other and they're telling each other your games. The guy that uh, you would throw up if he asked you out, he's describing how women treat him. The guy that you have wet dreams about, the guy that you maybe you did pursue, even though you swear you don't pursue men. He's also explaining to the guy who would make you throw up what type, type of treatment he's getting. So the men know that you all don't treat them the same. 
And the men who you don't want, they're saying, well, if I'm not what she wants, I'm not going to be there for her later. He's not saying that about just an individual. He's saying this about women in general. So if you learn from anybody, from any TV show, or any, even any elder woman in your family that you love and trust, that you can F around, and then later you can find a man that's what you need, disregard that message. Because at this point, the things that we used to not know, the things my dad never knew about women till well after I was born, are things that my son knows at age 16. And I don't think that it's fair for you at a young age to be misled by elders. So take that message, uh, so take that message and uh, don't forget it. Because if you decide that you're gonna try to save yourself later on, um, or you're, trying to, you're gonna find a guy that's willing to save you later, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna look and he's gonna say, what is your type really? And when he determines that it's not him, he's gonna bounce. And all of them will. And you're going to be stuck with either nobody or the same kinds of relationships that you had with the men that you really wanted, only now with less commitment because you will have had kids from some other one. That's what you're looking at at this point. The game has changed and the knowledge is changing. And I'm just sorry that the elders in your family, the older women have not put you up on this and told you, even if they did not know themselves. So I'm telling you now. Um, my son is not going to pay any of your bills. The minute you talk about independence, none of that. He will not pay a bill if you talk about independence. You're going to split it with him. If the authority is going to be 50-50, then the cost is going to be 50-50. My son's already up on that game. The other thing too is this. You're not gonna tell my son that he has to come and approach you if he knows you already pursued somebody else. If you pursued, if you chased after another guy when you were 19 years old, you can't come to my son even at age 29 and say, well, things are different, I've changed. My son's gonna say, you shouldn't have changed then. You pursued him. Y'all aren't together anymore. If you're not pursuing me, we ain't gonna be together because some other woman is, and she's offering a better deal than you. That's what you got out there for waiting on you. The game has changed since your aunts and your mother's time. And if they won't tell you, or they didn't know to tell you, then you're hearing it from me. I hope that what I've said benefits you. Black heart, sign a blackout. Assalamu alaikum.